good everybody it's your boy oh shade dude jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump dima Archive music so guys rivalries and beefs are necessary in life it happens in sports it happens in politics everywhere you go there's going to be a beef or a rivalry it's just the way the world works but stop the show it needs to also make sense if you're going to do such right It would need to make sense. Like if I'm going to beef with somebody, they would need to be in the same industry. Like if I sold meat or if I sold shoes, I wouldn't really be beefing with somebody who sold boxes. It doesn't really make any sense. It's a waste of my energy and most likely a waste of theirs. But stop the show. When you're on YouTube, it still works the same way. Like imagine you're a content creator who talks about lifestyle content and you're a content creator who talks about red pill content well there's no real need to beef and if fresh and fit were smart they would never even engage auburn preach it doesn't matter how many views they get on the video talking about them i just wouldn't never engage them because they're not in the red pill there's nothing to be gained by engaging auburn preach but fresh and fit still have not learned that concept You see, it all started a few years ago when Fresh and Fit invited ABBA to their studio in Miami. There was a collaboration and ABBA and Preach found out that, you know, Fresh and Fit were talking about them behind their back. So then they shot back and then Fresh and Fit started going back and forth with the war with them. And ultimately, it didn't win anything for Fresh and Fit. Um, They ended up getting demonetized, lost all their money from the YouTube platform. They started, you know, making little videos that sounded like this. (laughs) problem with you. Yo, that nigga bro. call me Goofy? Look at you, bro. You're Goofy. Gay. Any man that can boogie is on my Bro, you are a fucking whole <laughs> 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 Nigga, the song? Lady got it. Gay man, gonna be okay. These niggas are supposed to be gonna be okay. That's right, you know, Myron going around with a monkey sound and making all those sounds, which ultimately kicked him out of the YouTube partner program. You would think by this time, they would leave it alone. Now, fast forward! Your boy Fresh CEO, booty clapping sound! Yeah, he goes and gets his preference pregnant. But remember, this is what his baby mama said about him in the bedroom. And of course, he's love bombing you and having sex. So did you guys have, of course, did you have sex the day you got back? Yes, directly. Okay, I got to ask, girl. I got to ask. I'm sorry. I got to ask. This clown thinks he's Dong Dick Wan. How was the sex? He... I would say during this whole relationship, I was the one who was investing much more than him. Even about were you the, satisfied? Did you climax? Is it you no, know? No, no, no. He doesn't. I, he doesn't make me. I'm the one who always like make him feel like so pleased, please, please. So you get somebody pregnant. You can't clap cheeks. These guys keep reacting to the fact that you keep making mistakes. And now, what you want to do? It's call them gay. I've covered it in a video before. I've posted a Twitter screenshot, you know, Andrew Tate's involved and all of that. But stop the show. Didn't I tell you that Myron had some suspect pictures out there on the internet? So Abba and Preach have responded to those allegations by saying this. I don't see anything wrong with being gay. And secondly, the hyper masculine dudes who are like, oh man, that's gay. Blah, blah, blah. They do the most sus shit behind closed doors. You got Myron over here laying in bed with dude, grabbing him from behind, cuddling, but that's not gay. I've been to a lot of concerts. I ain't never been by one of my homies like, yo, yo. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Calm down, Diddy. I I, I looked at those pictures and I wanted to be open-minded. I have literally never been sitting in like a booth and laid back into another man's lap. And while he put his arms around, 
let me address this real quick because people yeah. say that dumb shit. Oh, I saw gay pictures of you, bro. Those were my teammates. Have you ever played uh, a sport at a high level, military, uh, law enforcement, maybe uh, combat, combat sports, anything else like that, where you have a team? It's not gay. It's just like it's just what it is. You just horse around. It's boys being boys, right? You know guys funny? being guys. When you're in a hyper masculine environment with a lot of other dudes, sometimes you just want to be up in their ass. But it's always the dude who are like. Let me see your asshole. Why? 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 In this, in this, this like troll rant from Abba, it, it, it's very, just listen to this part. Yo, Abba and Preach are ignorant, bro. I could tell just by looking at you, y'all never been in comrades in arms. Y'all never been in the field, in the trenches, when it's cold as hell and you got to sit in there because the enemy firing. So what do you want to do for warmth? You cuddle up. It ain't gay to... Be little spoon and big spoon with your homie so you can save on warmth and survive through the night. And you know what? It ain't gay to kiss him on the cheek and tuck him in and say, hey, good night. That's gay. That's called love. And you need that when it's cold out there. Matter of fact, if you want to put your hands underneath the sheets and check underneath his bottoms, make sure his booty cheeks are still clapping. That's ain't gay either. That's brotherly love. That's boys being boys. But you wouldn't know about that because y'all too busy out here dancing like fairies. All these gay boys want to make out everyone like them. It's not gay to play a prank on your homie and give him some dome. It ain't gay. Matter of fact, pretending to be attracted to your homies makes you more attractive to females. Matter of fact, if you learn how to do dome, you can teach your girl how to please you better, which is her job. It ain't gay. It's about being a better leader and a provider by giving her the step-by-step -step instructions. You got to be, how you going to teach your girl how to do what you need? You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to do it, that's like learning to drive from somebody who never drove. If you want your girl to suck you off, you got to learn how to do it. Bro, that ain't gay, dog. That ain't gay. And all you little guys at home, y'all you know, never been on a team. Y'all ain't never had to be with your boys in the showers and seen them, them glutes just moving up and down. And you ain't never smacked it. Because you ain't never been in that environment. You're too busy being at home playing Warcraft and shit. That's gay. Orcs and, and elves and pointy ears, that's gay. Nah, bro, you know what's gay? Eating pussy is gay. Facts. Facts. And if you're a masculine man, you're a high-value man, you never go near a van. Because think about it, vagina is where little boys come out of. So you want to lick that inside where we're little babies. That, that's also for pedos. That's weird. Babies come out of there. And I mean, bro, it's so funny. I, I can barely keep a straight face by doing this podcast because ultimately, you know, great minds think alike. I knew they were going to come out with this probably. Um, I talked about this before they were able to drop the video. But the reality is, is that I've been preach have been winning a mental war against fresh and fit and they had no reason to go into this war they lost their monetization going into this war and i'm pretty sure that at the time that they lost their monetization fresh and fit miami was one of the top five or six super chatted youtube channels on planet earth this beef with Auburn preach them engaging in that lost them their youtube monetization but they're stupid. So what else would they lose? Let me tell you guys something about this platform and about being on YouTube. YouTube is interesting. You can go on another platform like Rumble and do something stupid and get demonetized on YouTube simply because as a YouTuber, you're a creator. So you have to watch what you do. That can definitely happen to you. And that's exactly what happened to Fresh and Fit. But they're still on the platform, even though they're demonetized. However, if they were to get kicked off of this platform, it would still hurt them because first of all, the people that are on YouTube would then go to Rumble and support. But without people being able to find them on YouTube, then going over to Rumble, that would hurt them even more. So my question is this, where is their mentorship? Can I get a dun, dun, dun sound effect? Oh yeah, because their mentor in the game is this person. Right, a guy who got married to a single mom when he was talking about you shouldn't date single moms. This is the guy that has been giving them probably some advice for the last few years. Their big bro, Donovan Sharp. Terrible minds think alike. Somebody should talk to them and say, listen, 
you guys are not gonna win this war. The reason why you're not is because you're unaccountable, you're silly and you're stupid and you keep making mistakes. You shouldn't even waste your time responding to them because they have you at an emotional disadvantage. There is nothing that you can gain from going back and forth with them because first of all, they're not red pill creators. Um, you can't come for their sexuality. They can, pre they can pretty much neutralize any attack by saying, yeah, we're gay and so what? So there's no way you can hurt their feelings. It's impossible. You don't really know very much about their personal life. Um, Abba lives a very private life. I think Preach is a little bit more um, accessible, but Abba, nobody knows what the hell he's doing. So there's no way you can attack these guys. The only thing that you can do is ignore what they're saying and continuing doing what you've been doing, like what Kevin Samuels did. He often got attacked by a lot of different creators. Never once acknowledged it. Now I know that it did piss him off sometimes because we talked about it, but he would never acknowledge them personally because he was too big to acknowledge them. But Fresh and Fit must keep acknowledging Abba and Preach for one main reason, because they know Abba and Preach are bigger and better than them. That's why, because hey, to be fair, when I make videos about them, they never acknowledge me. Hey, I'm in black YouTube. So, you know, I'm a nobody to them, which is okay, stop the show, because I'm still gonna be getting these checks. Rich! Ah! Yeah, I gotta get mine, player. They don't acknowledge me. They don't acknowledge really anybody else. I heard them talk about MTR like once, but for the most part, they don't even acknowledge them, but they always acknowledge Auburn Preach and then take an L. And then they're over there in the comment section, which I'll get to a little bit later. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate your follow that you do subscribe to the bell. We're out.